Hey everyone, my name is Jennifer and welcome to A Vintage Vanity. I am super excited for today's video because, well, you guys are here. As well as we are doing another $100 challenge video, which I'm so excited about because not only is it a $100 challenge video, it is centered around Halloween, the favoriteest of holidays. And I will tell you, there's nothing that keeps me from being depressed about the end of summer like the creepiest of creepy, the spookiest of ookies, and that is October. Ah, I love it to pieces. And one thing I noticed as we started creeping towards October, um, a lot of vintage rockabilly dresses started showing up on my Facebook feed from a company called Rose Gal, which is one of the companies you guys have asked me to uh, review. And when I saw that, and then I saw it was Halloween, I was like, mm, this is a no brainer. Like, so much of a no-brainer, zombies would turn and walk the other way because you ain't got no brains. I know, it's a bad joke. It's a really bad joke. But I ordered a bunch of stuff, and then I got really nervous because let me tell you, when you Google Rose Gal, it is not good. It is slightly higher. Everything on the site seems to run around like $25, some, somewhere around that, that dollar amount. Some of it was on sale, so it was a little bit cheaper. So it is probably the equivalent of some of the Amazon purchases that I made. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it on the screen. Um, <clears throat> but when you Google Rose Gal Man, it's just, it's not good. People say that things don't show up. The quality is really, really bad. So I got super nervous, number one, that I wasn't going to get anything. And um, number two, about the quality of what we were going to get. So that has yet to be known. But what happened is two of my items shipped. Everything else went on like back order. So I messaged them and I was like, hey, what up with that? And they were like, oh, dude, so sorry, right? And the items were in stock, but they were back ordered. So I could wait like three, four more weeks for them to ship or I could pick something else. So I said, you know what? I'll go ahead and pick something else. Um, so I easily was able to swap out some of my items that I wanted and then they got here pretty quickly. So everything came pretty quick. So that was really, really nice. Um, but um, yeah we'll see what we actually got because I have known some people that have ordered from them and they've been real hit or miss but I hope these are wearable because it's Halloween stuff and I would like to wear all of them and before anybody says anything my nails now that I said it you're all gonna look and I'm just gonna hide I'm gonna hide the ones in question my nails are a wreck right now one popped off one broke ah the other thing i want to mention is i am aware that rose gal is considered to be a fast fashion company and uh, the internet is not really clear where it's based but it is more than likely based out of china and i know that a lot of people have problems with uh clothing that is made from fast fashion and i completely understand that and support that but on the other side of the coin i know that a lot of my viewers um, are on budgets and buying from fast fashion is one of the avenues that they can to get this type of clothing that is not sold in, you know, mass market stores. So I want people to know what they can expect when purchasing from these companies and if they are worth the risk because we want to make sure that if you are on a tight budget, your money is being spent wisely and in the best way possible. And at the end of this video, that is for you guys to decide, but I will share my opinion. So let's go ahead and get into the bags. I'm so excited about this. Um, I'm going to save the, the one. I bought four dresses, but one is not a dress. <laughs> And you'll know why when you actually see what that item is. The one thing that I noticed right away is that everything seems to be coming from the same location, which is something different than like Wish or Amazon. All of them are in Rose Gal bags and they have Rose Gal tags on them. The sizing was consistent across all of the dresses. So I bought a 1X in all of them. And... Um, the first one we're going to take a look at was just called the Plus Size Halloween Vintage Pinup Dress Gray. I know. So fascinating. I am probably, out of all of these, this is one of the one dress that I'm super excited about. Okay. Here's the first one. Isn't that cute? We've got this nighttime Halloween town down here. The nice black and white striped top. 
it is pretty darn cute, right? Now, uh, the first thing is the top is knit, so it has some stretch to it. It's not super see-through. Um, the one thing I will say is none, this is very all thin, lightweight. It is not a quality material, which honestly, you guys, at $23, we're not expecting that at this point. But what I did do is I went and I looked at all the seams because you know how I like to do that. And everything is actually finished off rather nicely. There's no like extraneous strings hanging down. The stitching seems to be done pretty well. But I wish I wish there was a way I could translate to you guys like how thin this material is. <laughs> Does that do it? Can you tell now? It is kind of like a silky feel. It's very thin, but the good thing about that is the print is probably going to hold up to washing, which is actually kind of nice. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and try this baby on. This dress, I think I'm going to put in the wind column. Um, it's not a great dress by any means, but you know what? It's not bad, and I will wear it. So for that, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 because the quality is not really there. It's a very flimsy, flimsy dress, and it's a little too big. So as you can see, it's really kind of gaping in the arms and in the bodice. So the sizing, I would say if you get this, you might want to size down on this. The other thing is that um, without a crinoline, this dress looks so completely miserable. So I do have a little bit of a crinoline under there. The other thing about this is, I'm going to take off my belt. The waist is really high on this, and um, it doesn't look super flattering without something to kind of make it look like the waist is a little bit lower. So, which is why the white belt is perfect. You just cinch that on, and you don't know that the top is literally right here. This is my waist. This is where the top is. So, it has some conditions, but... Overall, I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this. It's no way close to a circle skirt, but none of these are going to be because, again, it's a $23. In the other reason why I'm giving it a six is because I don't really think it's worth $23. Let me know what you guys think about this dress in the comment section below. But let me do this real quick. See what I mean? It just looks a little sad and frumpy. Okay, let's try on the next dress. The next one is the most Halloween-y of all of them. This is the plus size Halloween spider web pumpkin vintage swing dress in Halloween orange. And one of the reasons why I really liked this was the neckline on this dress. Oh, that's a, that's a, oh, guy, oh. Oh, my camera cut off during this. I have no idea where it cut off, but I'm going to have to recreate all of this for you because let's just say I placed my hand in the bag to draw the dress out and immediately recoiled as if I was a vampire and just touched holy water by the feel of the skirt. It feels like, like, I, like a nylon tent a little bit. Um, it is a little bit thicker than the other dress. So there's, there's that. The other thing is I went to be like, oh, how cute. There was one reason and one reason alone that I decided to pick this dress because I'm not normally one of those people that are like, Jen, you know what you need in your wardrobe? A pumpkin orange dress, right? Um, orange is not a color I would gravitate towards she says as she's wearing an, a top with orange in it but this is an exception because it's got cats on it I mean and little owls I mean come on guys right so the only reason why I chose this dress is because of the detailing on the waist and you might say to yourself Jen whatever are you talking about what detailing to which I say zoinks 
Um, yeah, let me put up a, a picture on screen so you guys can see exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. isn't that a really cute detail? Wouldn't that be great if that was on this dress? Yeah, it would. Hey, I haven't even put this dress on yet. Oh, it is, it's gonna have to work real hard to have me like this dress. But the other thing is this one, as well as the other dress, do you have the invisible zippers from hell? Which, you know, guys, you guys know how I feel about that. If not, go ahead and watch my other videos. Um, the other thing is right off the bat, there is a bunch of like just threading hanging out. The, um, yeah, this one is just not put together as well. It's a little bit wonky on the inside. We're going deep. We're going deep. Then the other problem I have with this dress is the top. It's a cute little v-neck, right? And it's probably going to translate really well on camera. But this top is, is um, okay, this is the perfect way I can describe this. You, um, you know, it's a polyester, but you know how when you buy, like, uh, chiffon uh, pajamas, like, uh, especially vintage chiffon, and it, it's lined with that, like, um, that really weird polyester. It's kind of silky, but it's not like a silky that you're like, ooh, it's silky. It's more like, oh, it's silky, right? That's what this top is. It is like lingerie lining. It is a see-through. I don't know if you guys can see me through there, but definitely you're probably going to see my bra. Um, the print, though, is exactly how it was shown online. And because of the weird material, the print should actually stand up to quite a bit of washing as well so I could almost forgive the skirt for being a weird um texture because if it falls right and gives it a little bit for more volume that, that, that might not be such a bad thing as she tries her best not to hate this dress immediately before she puts it on haha <laughs> I'll wear it. That's kind of the biggest ringing endorsement I'm going to give this one. The, I, I'm going to guess all the sizing is going to be off because, I mean, um, this is just, it's just too big. But the plus side to these being too big, it means that I don't actually have to use the dreaded invisible zipper. I can just pull them on and off up over my head. This one... The one positive is that the waist is where it's supposed to be, which is really, really nice. But again, this material, it's, it's, it's not great, you guys. And the skirt, it's just so sad. Look at it. Even with the crinoline, it needs, it needs more. Underneath this, I am wearing my beloved Megan from Melko Modes, which is my everyday crinoline because it gives a nice little volume, but it's not so vol voluminous that it's hard to drive around in. To my special occasion Melko Modes. Oh, I caught a kitty. <laughs> As you can tell, this has a lot of fluff to it. I will put up the name for this one because I don't remember which one this one is named, but this is when I want to go full petticoat and get a lot of volume. So I think that's going to change this dress up quite a bit. All right. So let's see if this changes our opinion of this dress. Yes. Yes. It definitely, definitely does. There we go. See, does this dress a big favor by having more volume in it. I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 10. Because this is so much bigger, you can actually see like the rippling in the waist as it kind of cinches everything together. And the fact that the only way that I like this dress is by pinning on my fancy petticoat means it's going to limit the amount of times I actually want to wear this dress. So... Him. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this dress. I'm going to go get the other one while you think about this. So the next dress I got was the plus size off the shoulder paisley skull print vintage dress in red wine. Okay. Um, okay. 
This again is that weird nylon parachute material for this skirt. But Jen, Jen, give it a chance. Just give it a chance. Okay, I was a little worried because the bag actually said um, extra large on it. <clears throat> but this I want XL. The print is really cute though, you guys. And it is pleated, but I'm really digging the off the shoulder. I mean, ugh, come on. That's just cute. Now, okay, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. This material is very, very similar to this material, to the top on that. The difference in this one it is this is a bit thicker and it's not as shiny silk. Um, I'm not like the hugest fan of this fabric, but you know, it's okay. This one is put together a little bit better. There's no like weird threads hanging out. It seems a little bit better in quality. Um, no idea what I just did to the dress. Okay. I'm actually really excited to put this one on. This one, I actually like the most out of all of them. Um, the skirt, the material works with the pleats and the skirt with just our little daily crinoline we're getting a nice bit of volume it didn't look horrible without a crinoline which was a great the only only downside to this dress thus far has actually been this um the waist here fits actually snug I can still pull this dress straight over my head but the problem is is the top is not fitted which easy enough to change by taking it in just a little bit but I love I love everything that's going on up here um this off the shoulder business is everything love the pleats in it the style of this dress is magnifique and even with all of that I'm only giving this a five out of ten just because of the fact that you can't size down in this, right? All the other ones, they were too big just all over. This one, if I size down, it wouldn't fit in the waist. And then it would fit up here. So then I would find myself in a conundrum. And then um, if you don't know how to sew, you'd have to take it to be altered. And then you're spending more money. And then at that point, why not just buy a dress that you don't have those problems with? So um, that is why the 5 out of 10 on this. And quite frankly, I'm not going to wear this dress until I actually take it in because it's so, it's so much extra. It is not flattering. And I can't wait to take it in and wear it. So let me know in the comment section below what you thought of this one while I go try on the next. Okay, this is really, this is really weird. I swear I am not dreaming when I said I had to replace two of the dresses. But yet, I, but apparently I just had to replace one of them. Which looking at the one I had to replace, I'm very, very sad about it. And I don't know the name of this one because when they replace it, it doesn't show up in your receipt. It feels, oh, oh, oh. This is the face of me trying not to be judgy. This is going back to pajamas. You know that like polyester silk pajamas that are stretchy and very see-through? That's what this material is. Um, the print is really cute, right? Um... And one of the things that I liked about this was the top. I feel like I'm just getting really sick right now. I can't. Uh, <laughs> it is a halter top. Okay, let's just try it on. Maybe it'll change my opinion. The more I sit here thinking about it, the more annoyed I'm getting. So let's just go try it on. I know what you're thinking. Jen, oh my gosh, it looks so cute. Um, from the camera, it sure does. Um, <clears throat> this 
Oh, the skirt is probably my favorite amongst the skirts. I say that, but I really like the red one too. But the ones that were meant to be like more like full traditional swing skirts. I think a part of it is because of the material, but it's also because it has more fabric in it. Probably because they were able to use pajama fabric to make the dress. My big problem with this dress is who would like to come inside and join me in here because I got plenty of room for more of you. I hate the pajama-ness of this dress. Will I wear it? Yeah, actually I will. I'll probably wear it to work to run errands, but I won't wear it when I actually want to be dressed in something nice. But it's kind of like being able to run around town in the pajamas because it's essentially pajamas. And once, <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> once I take in the sides to make it fit, it'll be great. But if you're looking at this dress online, Make sure that uh, you size down, probably be about two sizes on this thing. But other than that, it's the best, right? <laughs> Did I already give this a rating? I'm giving it a four. This is the cheapest thing I think I have ever put on my body. I'll wear it. You'll see it on my Instagram one of these days. Now on to the next. And now for the thing that's not a dress at all that I hope isn't horrible because it was so cute. It was, okay, 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 this might not be so bad. <gasps> Here's this. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a cotton pick a minute. One of the reasons why I was so excited about this top is, um, let me pull it up is that this is the plus size pumpkin spider web skew, skew neck Halloween sweatshirt in black. It's because this is supposed to be an off the shoulder sweatshirt. Can anybody see what might be the problem about this? Oh, um, so yeah, that makes me really kind of sad. This better, and if, let's just try it on. This is my kitty cat sweater. Um, I think they have failed completely at the off the shoulder because as you can see, it is fully encasing both of my shoulders. Um, <laughs> this is legitimately the weirdest sized sweatshirt I have ever put on in my life. So the bottom is a nice and loose. Oh, hi kitties. Oh, you're gonna let me hold you for two seconds? For the internet to see you. Oh no, look at this. He says, no, mom. Um, <laughs> so down here, it's like super loose. Up here, the farther up you go, the tighter it gets. So like the shoulders are actually like really tight. So it's across the bosom, it's tight. The arms, like especially where the striping is, is tight. And as you go up again, the farther up you go, I'm surprised it didn't end in a turtleneck. That's how weird this feels. Um, with that said, will I take this sweatshirt and stretch the heck out of it and wear it? Absolutely I will um, because it is adorable and it's half loose. I just need to loosen the top of it. So um, I'm actually, this is the lowest score I'm going to give anything that I purchase. I'm going to actually give it a two. Two, two, two. Why don't we head back over to the table that's over there and talk a little bit more about this. Let's go. So here's the thing, the minute I've turned off the camera, I had to rip that sweatshirt off because I was getting so incredibly itchy and I'm really, really hoping it's because of like the preservatives they put into fabric when they sew and they ship and all that kind of stuff. The big question at the end of these things is always would I suggest shopping from Rose Gal? And I know a lot of you are going to be like, well, we know what you're going to say, John, why not what's going to be no because you don't really like fast fashion. And yes. Um. Uh, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
but uh rose gal is i wouldn't even risk it honestly um because the quality of the fabrics is so inferior the sizing is all over the place it just wasn't good i know they probably looked really cute on camera and like i said i will wear the dresses because i wear my wardrobe i'm not going to get rid of them um but ugh, guys i just i just mm, mm -mm. i don't know if it's because of the fact that this is a Halloween line and maybe the clothing on their regular line, the non-seasonal stuff is better, but I don't know, dude. I just, I just, mm, 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 mm. And I feel like there was something else I was gonna say besides, mm, 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 mm. Oh, this was it. After I bought these, I noticed like the other sites that you guys also uh, wanted to see me try stuff from, like Dress Lily was a big one. Kept seeing all over the same, same, same exact dresses. So even though they are, pack the Rose Gal is going so far as to package everything in the same package and to also give them all the um, same labels, which funny enough, these are like printed cockeyed on here. Yeah. So that's funny. So the, the labels aren't even printed correctly. Um, and quite honestly, that's, that sums up everything you need to know about this company. On the outside, it looks like legit and pretty good. And then when you put it on, you're like, it's okay, but uh, it ain't quite right. <laughs> you can quote me on You can quote me on that. It's okay but it ain't quite right. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video, even with my very strange and quirky mood today, though I did have a ton of fun filming this video, and of course, the only thing left to know is your thoughts. So go ahead and let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts on today's video were, what your thoughts on the dresses, what your thoughts on Rose Gal are, and if you shopped there before, let me know your experience. I have the burning questions. You guys only have the answers, so let me know in the comment section below. Now, if you like this video, go ahead and click on that like button for me. And before I let you go, a huge subscriber shout out to Una Scottish Lass. Thank you so much for being a part of our cozy little online community and for commenting and liking and watching these videos. Live long and prosper, my friend. And of course, if you don't want to miss any of the other amazing Halloween stuff that is coming up on this channel, make sure that you are subscribed by clicking on my face. If you'd like to shop my clothing line, which is having a 50% off sale right now, go ahead and click on that boomerang. And of course, if you just want to keep watching my face, go ahead and watch my last video right there. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye.